It does appear that you are more in rhythm with him going into the playoffs. Is that an accurate assessment? Yeah, every time I see Drew, and I mean it, every time I look at him, I don't know why it just comes out, but I look at him every morning. I pass him, I say, man, you my guy. You my guy. And I, it's not too many guys that I can say uh, that, you know, like, and, and, and that's not saying that they are my guy, but just the way that, you know, I feel about the dude. Like, he's a legend in my eyes, but, you know, you see you see the, the Sean Payton and Drew Brees connection, and I've grown up around it. I grew up in the South in Houston. I've heard about him. You know, Drew Brees is a legend to me, but just Drew Brees, the person. Like, I've been enjoying just being around him, too, and just – just the way that he approaches the game and the way that he goes about his business is just it's just been amazing. And so uh if you look at this team, um, and this is the reason why I've been telling people like and I know I've my I got a biased opinion in terms of you know, Sean Payne being coach of the year, but I've just seen this guy battle through so much from Alvin Kamara being out, from Drew Brees breaking his ribs to but uh, making the decision on Jameis Winston or, or Taysom Hill from Mike Tom Mike Thomas uh, entering his ankle first game of the year, oh, damn near missing an entire season, and and just just guys dropping and the COVID and all all the things that he's balanced. I just seen a guy who really just coached the team no matter who was out there and was what what was able to win games. And so we've had our fair share of adversity through this whole situation, but. Um, yeah, I do believe that like we're, we're primed. Um, and I don't think we have a choice but to be ready. Because and the playoffs are here, and, and the, the time's not going to change. So now is the time. And you've been around some uh, offensive minds, to say the least. Uh, you, you, you went through uh, the, the previous Super Bowl stops and all your other teams with Arians uh, in Pittsburgh. Obviously, Kubiak with Denver. We just saw you in a Super Bowl with Kyle Shanahan. W- give me a good Sean Payton moment you you just gave us uh, about the overarching view but uh, can you get a little more granular of a moment where you're like okay this cat's a little different you got something on that oh 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 Sean, Sean, Sean's different uh full circle um just just from a play calling standpoint you got two different Sean Payne's you got Sean Payton that uh throughout the week Sean Payton throughout the week so uh, I had to get eight catches to get the 500K. Every morning I walk into work, Sean, he, he greets the entire team. Every morning he's judging my outfit because I like to dress up to go to work, sure. right? And uh, he's judging my outfit. Every day he tells me, okay, that's a good outfit. That's a shitty outfit. Okay, that's that, that's that. <laughs> so, I, so, so I, get the, I get the 500, I get the 500, and he comes to the back of the plane just to, to, just to mess with me. And he tells me, yeah, you got your 500,000. He goes, don't be wearing those blue white pants anymore right <laughs> so, so i'm like all right he, he loves it he loves just to pick on me but uh but then you got sean payton uh during the game and do not talk to him during the game because he will flip out on anybody during the game he's so locked in he's so prepared he he, he has his, his strategic ways his chess uh play uh playmaking calling ways and he just wants to execute at a high level and that's just him. And so, you know, I've been enjoying uh, enjoying just being around him and just being in his presence and just seeing uh, just how he is just as a head coach. It's been fun to watch. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.